I will end now with a short verse, one that I wrote as a catalogical and elusive parody of my own poem to celebrate the cat. I've never written a parody of my own poem, so just I've got it. Let's see how it how this yes. It's very cathartic and I remind you of Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Cat has a trophy there. If you say catastrophe, cat has a trophy there. Catastrophe. Yes, of course. <laughs> so here is a poem. And I'm in front of my very favorite poet, Professor Kaiser Hawk, by respected teacher. So it's a little bit of challenge, you know, reciting a poem in front of him, but I'll try. This, this parody is called My Version of Meowism. I need your help here. You'll get to hear the sound meow repeatedly. But when I point it at, at you like this, say meow with me. Let's rehearse a bit. So I'll say meow, 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 meow. All right. Fantastic. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> so here's the short poem. When you are high, on my grossome attitudes, I say, man. Not yet. <laughs> when they say, when the sea pour nimble paws on the ground, I say, meow, meow. and erupt and pierce the nocturnes. I say, meow, 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 meow. Whether, whether, and whether secretive or solitary or panther-like or remote or invisible or naked or pure or antagonistic or catastic or even cat ecstatic, the virtue of stone and dream or fleeting smell, slipping, and sinking like a blind fish, I say, meow, 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 meow. When Neruda points to his musician in his mode of persuasion and pro cat stination, or when Baudelaire basks and bakes in the sunshine on his lovely caturdy, I say, meow. Meow, 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 meow. That's my meowism challenging the damn anthropocentrism that would destroy us but offering us love and liberation and light and life. Thank you. Yeah.